been around for many years, back when executions were a worldwide appropriate punishment. The Greeks popularized this wonderful art form by using masks to differentiate the people on stage, creating characters as we would know them today. And they told the stories of their wonderful Greek gods, creating genres for their audiences. Some were funny, some were tragic, it was all different. And fast forward around a millennia, Right, so, um, how did your sort of passion for theatre start then? So, how did it start at a very young age? Like, what sort of happened with it? Um, and um, how did it eventually become your job? Was it like a progression? Did you do other things before this? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Um, so, I've always always had an interest in theatre. Um, always somehow got involved with. Um, local amateur dramatics that were going on in my uh, hometown, um, joined the local youth theatre when I was seven, um, did lots of shows with, with lots of little uh, different groups and the, the theatre kind of became a second home for me. I was there most evenings, um, I was there most weekends, I'd be involved in, in multiple productions and um, I suppose part of it helped that uh, my mum was a wardrobe mistress, so my Christmas use is used to be spent uh, helping backstage on panto, often dressing the dame, um, did many years like that um, and eventually got to a point um, when I was probably about 14 or 15 where I was on stage performing and found my mind wandering uh, to what was going on backstage and, and what everyone else was up to and suddenly realising that I, I was not enjoying being on stage and I was far more interested with what was happening behind the scenes um, so I started to do some bits of stage management and some props work um, and decided to go off to university uh, and do quite a broad theatre studies degree that allowed me to shape um, some design work and look at um, set design and costume design um, which I'd started to develop quite a passion for um, and to explore my knowledge of, of technical theatre. <laughs> question is, uh, what difficulties do you face in your job? Difficulties, because there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of positives. I'd say theatre and drama is kind of in their education system not seen as something that is important, right, um, yeah. or it kind of doesn't have the value of subjects such as kind of English, maths. Um, and I think sometimes the kind of core like values and things we can learn from drama and theatre gets overlooked quite quickly. Um, so I think sometimes the challenges can be getting people to see theatre as something more than entertainment um, and how it can be used for different things. So that can be a challenge. Um, on the up with a musical called Showboat, released in 1927, popularising the American musical genre, paving the way for such classics as Cats, Starlight Express and the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And now, shows like Wicked, Heathers and Les Miserables dominate the theatre stage, even rivalling that of motion pictures, something that they never thought would happen a thousand years ago. Yeah, please. 